hi guys welcome back to my video tutorial so in this video I'm gonna show you how to create create a installer setup for uh, for your vb.net program so I have already application program here a simple operations for addition subs subtraction multiplication and division so uh, I'm going to convert this uh, code into executable file or installer to be installed on my local computer so let me share to you how to create the installer for it for it so first let's go to file and then to, uh, select on add then new project and then here uh, in the other type project types to the installer and then uh, look for setup project then uh, name the setup file or installer uh, you would like uh, let's say for me it's simple operation so click on browse if you want to uh, save this file onto a different location but uh, for me I leave this uh, default as default location uh, for this setup file to be installed uh, to be created later so click on ok after clicking ok uh, you can it will show you these uh, three folders the application folder the users desktop and the users program menu so first we have to go to application folder and then either side the right side uh, right click on this right side then uh, add a project output for it first so click on project output so the project output would be my uh, tutorials projects the name of my projects or program so uh, configuration choose the active so click on ok after uh, Creating the project output file. Uh, let's go to users desktop and then right click on the on the right side and then create new short shortcut. Then uh, in the application folder, browse the project output file. Click on OK. Name this file. Uh, a shortcut as uh, name of our program or or my name of my program a simple operation uh, copy this and then in the users programs menu uh, we can create directly any new shortcut or simply add the folder first uh, let's say name of your program simple operation then click on simple operation and then before you create a new shortcut so right click then create new shortcut and then same uh, approach go to application folder and then select or browse the primary output file then click on OK. Then rename this to uh, your program name. Say simple operation. <clears throat> so after creating these two uh, programs menu, then the user's desktop shortcut. Uh, we can change the properties for it. Uh, let's say if you have icon uh, for your uh, program you can also browse it and select your icon so for me I leave it this uh, I leave this blank once you created this uh, shortcut for users desktop and then for programs menu uh, let's click this on the side the right side they have you have uh, you should have this uh, setup created the simple operations so click on it you can change the 
the author of this program let's say uh, simple operation operation project and also the manu manufacturer so let's edit the manufacturer and first uh, for the remove previous versions we're going to set this as true and then for the target platform uh, let's say uh, 64 bit uh, you can you can create the specific CPU or bit of your OS let's say we are going to deploy this program in uh, into 64 bit uh, computer so let's select the 64 bit and then we can uh, create our own our own version here so for the default the version is 1.0 since this is a uh, first version that we are going to create or first release so let's make this uh, one default plus default so after uh, after changing all those uh, needed or important uh, details uh, we can already publish the installer to do that uh, click on the simple operation setup then right click then click on build so we can wait uh, for a minute or seconds to be completed so let's wait for the file to be published so I guess uh, this is completed the publish is completed so let's check the installer uh, simple operations uh, go to debug so here we can see the two setups for the installer created one is for Windows installer is for for MSI and then one is for the application setup so either we can use this uh, either either this one or this uh, Windows installer it should be the same so let's try to install this on my local computer so you can select any one of this any of this uh, let's check this msi installer uh, run the program then next then we'll have to install this uh, to this default uh, folder or if you want to install this program into the different uh, directory you can click on browse so for me uh, i'll leave it as blank uh, or default and just uh, for the as a default it will it selected as just me you can select also as everyone so it will the program will or uh, anyone in, in your computer who log in your computer will see the program file or if you don't want to see uh, other users I just choose just me so that uh, only you, you can only you can use your program application so click on next and then confirm installation yes uh, installation complete then click on close and then let's uh, let's check mm, let's check on the desktop so here we have we have already installer inst or setup installed in our local computer so let's uh, try to open this here it's already executable file so it should be working so then some of 10 and 10 20 so that's how uh, we create this uh, program files or 
uh, convert a program into uh, executable file or .exe 